So I'm Saujanya from 3rd BTEC CSCC. The topic I have chosen is peephole optimization. Peephole optimization is a type of code optimization performed on a small part of the code. It is performed on a very small set of instructions in a segment of code. The small set of instructions or small part of code on which peephole optimization is performed is known as peephole or window. This technique is a code optimization technique and comes under a machine dependent technique. In general, peephole is nothing but a small hole or window through which you can see. In this technique, peephole is referred as a small piece of code on which a methodology is applied repeatedly. Object use of peephole optimization to improve performance, to reduce memory footprint, to reduce code size. Coming to peephole optimization techniques, there are five main peephole optimization techniques, namely redundant load and store elimination, constant folding, strength reduction, simplify algebraic expressions, and dead code elimination. Redundant load and store elimination. In this technique, redundancy is eliminated. In the initial way, some operation is performed and thus the result of that operation on X is assigned to Y and the Y is stored in I variable and this I variable is then again stored in Z and this Z variable some operation is performed and the result is assigned to W. So here we are in place of W, Y also can be used. We are just simply storing this Y in I variable and this in this I in Z variable. This is useless. This is not necessary. So here we are uh, eliminating redundant load and store. So the optimized version of this code will be this one where this I and Z lines are eliminated and directly we are assigning Y in the place of Z. And here also this code also gives the same result as the initial code when executed. The next technique is constant folding. The code that can be simplified by the user itself is simplified. Here, simplification to be done at runtime are replaced with simplified code to avoid additional computation. In the initial code, we are multiplying 2 with 3. Instead of multiplying this, we can directly give the value 6. Here, we already know the result. So, Instead of performing some operation between two integers where the result is already known, we can directly assign the value 6 to x, thereby optimizing the code. So the optimized version of the code will be in this way where directly 6 is assigned to x. The next technique is strength reduction. The operators that consume higher execution time are replaced by the operators consuming less execution time. Here the strength of such operations are reduced. This technique is used when there are some operations which are time consuming and also occupy more memory. So this technique tries to reduce the strength of those kind of operations, the operations which are more time consuming and occupy more memory by converting them to some low version or low strength. In the initial code, we are multiplying x with 2. Here, multiplication operator takes more memory. So instead of that, we can use addition operator or we can simply left shift the x value which also gives the same result when x is multiplied by 2. And the next operation where x is divided by 2, here division takes more memory and time consuming. So instead of that, we can simply right shift the x value which also gives the same result when x is divided by 2. The next technique is simplify algebraic expressions. Useless operations are deleted in this technique. Here, we are do performing uh, addition operation on A with 0. Here the result will be A itself. But we are assigning that result which is A to A itself. So that means this is totally useless. We are just assigning A value to A only. This is similar with all the three cases below. Where A is multiplied by 1 which is the result A. And it is assigned to A. Again A is divided by 1 which results in A and then assigning it to A. So these are all the useless operations 
विच कैन बी डिलीटेड और रिमूव फ्रॉम द कोड एंड इट डजेंट एफेक्ट द आउटपुट ऑफ द कोड एंड द फिफ्थ टेक्निक अमंग द पीपल ऑप्टिमाइजेशन टेक्निक्स इज डेट कोड एलिमिनेशन डेट कोड रेफर्स टू पोर्शन ऑफ द प्रोग्राम दैट आर नेवर एग्जीक्यूटेड और डू नॉट एफेक्ट द प्रोग्राम ऑब्जर्वेबल बिहेवियर एलिमिनेटिंग डेट कोड हेल्प इम्प्रूव द एफिशियंसी एंड परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ द कंपाइल प्रोग्राम बाई रेड्यूसिंग अननेसरी कंप्यूटेशन एंड मेमोरी यूसेज डेट कोड इज अ पीस ऑफ कोड विच इज नेवर एग्जीक्यूटेड और विच डजेंट पार्टिसिपेट इन गिविंग आउटपुट If there is some dead code existing in our program, the elimination of such code needs to be done, which is not an easy task as it is tricky to analyze which code is dead code. Let's look into it with the help of an example. Here, in the initial code, we are using some function dead, where inside this function we are using three variables, and this C operation is executed, and we are printing the value of C. Till here, there is nothing wrong with the code. but after the print statement we are updating the value of a and then we are performing some operation on a s and assigning that result to a but we are not using these two operations uh, after the print statement these two are useless like we are these two do not contribute anything with the output even if we remove these two lines the output of this code will be the same so that means these two lines are dead part of the code or dead code so this will be the optimized version of the code where we did nothing but simply removed or deleted the two lines of the code these two lines of the code and the result of this both the codes will be same so this will be the optimized version of the code so we have discussed all the five techniques of peephole optimization and we have discussed about the object use and definition of peephole optimization and that's thank you thank you